Hello and welcome to Dalo News. Here are the headlines. New president of Kenya. FBI attacks Trump's mansion. And Somaliland chaos. Hello, we start with a report about the Kenya elections and the new president-elect of Kenya. Kenya's new president has been elected and that has become William Ruto. But let's go back in the history of the Kenya elections. Since independence from 1963, Kenya's had only four presidents before Ruto. Usually, the president was re-elected or extended his term without a legal statement. When former Kenya president Mia Kibaki was re-elected, Raila Odinga angered. What followed was, the street, was clashes in the streets of Nairobi. On 9 April 2013, the son of Kenya's first president, Jomo Kenyatta, was, elect, was elected president. In 2017, he made a term extension for four to five years. Although Kenya's Kenyatta and Odinga has been enemies since 2013, that changed in the 2018 handshake. Things really changed between the two of them, as Vice President Ruto got no support from Uhuru and Uhuru supported Odinga. When William Ruto was elected as Kenya's fifth president, it led to chaos. Odinga supporters tried to stop the ceremony, but failed. When Odinga did not recognize the elections and went to the High Court, who always has the last word. Whether there will be new elections in Kenya or whether Odinka should accept this result remain not, remains unknown. We will keep an eye for you at this. And the cream down is. The FBI is Trump's mansion, you will see it next. Former Somali President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed Framajo joins Somali Parliament. Uganda's President rejects to pay Somali troops. And a bloody attack on the Hyatt Hotel in Mogadishu. The new ministers of the Somali government has been chosen. One of them was the founder of the Al Shabaab terrorist groups, Mukhtar Robo, as, a, as known as Abi Mansour. Supporters and Prime Minister Hamza Abdibara have said that he can defeat Al Shabaab because he has been one of them. While critics accuse Robo of still being an Al Shabaab member and with Mahat Salat, the Nisa director, to transform, to, to transform Somalia to a strict Sharia Islamic State. The FBI have attacked the dementia of former US President Donald Trump. The FBI accuses the ex-president of having documents of the White House that should have been given to Joe Biden. Trump accused the FBI of planning a coup by Biden and the Democrats to make his life measurable. The FBI has released the documents that Trump hid in his mansion, Mar a Lago in Florida. Jubilant President extends his term? You'll see it next.
two years since the Beirut brutal attack. A storm tenses between two groups in Palestine rises. And Ukraine celebrates 31 years of independence. Chaos in Somaliland started after Somaliland President Musa Abihi Abdi tried to extend his term. People, especially the opposition, accused the Somaliland presidency of trying to dictate the people and to stay for another two or more years, just like his predecessor, Ahmed Mohamed Silanyo. Jubilant President His Excellency Ahmed Mohamed Islam Madurbe have extended his term by one more year. Madurbe said this was needed. But critics say Madurbe have been our jubilant since 2013 and earlier than that. He was the leader of the Washkambuni militia and a member of Hizbu Islam. Madurbe was born on 2 April 1951 in Jilip. He was moved to the Okadem Somali region. And this was Dallin News. Bye! Ruto William Samoe to come forward and receive the certificate.